everybody, it's Amy, and I wanted to share with you my newest projects. Um, I altered some bottles um, and a tray to display them on, and I used some um, beautiful I Am Roses flowers, as well as the Prima Almanac paper collection, and what a pretty paper collection. It has a lot of pinks in it, and then the black and cream tones, and it's just so pretty. And um, I've really enjoyed watching um, the videos of artists here on YouTube who have used the collection in their projects. I mean, in particular, Leonie at My Passion for Paper has just done some stunning projects. And also Miranda at, I believe it's Miss Liberty 25 on YouTube, has done some really, really beautiful projects too. So um, I wanted to alter some bottles with the paper collection because um, the collection has like these labels that you can, you know, fussy cut out. And I thought they'd be perfect for bottles. And I'll show you what they look like. Um, this is the A4 paper stack. So these labels are actually quite a bit larger than the ones I used on my bottles. Um, but this way you can get, you know, you can really see them good with the larger stack. I use the six by the labels from the six by six stack. So that's what you know the labels look like. And then I'll show you um, the bottles up close. I have this bottle here and I um, that, you know, use that label from the collection and um, I glued it on with the Claudine Helmuth Multimedium and then I just have a little Fleur de Lis, it's a charm from Michaels with a pearl and I tied it on there with some black twine and then for this bottle I have a label from the collection that I tied on with some twine and I have embellished it with a little um, Tim Holtz metal charm there. Cute little charm. And then I got, I purchased these bottles at Joanne and they were like Joanne's and they were just like a dollar and they're so cute. And um, yeah, and then this bottle I wrapped it in the um, burlap trim and I have a yeah label from the collection and a butterfly that I punched out with the Martha Stewart punch. And um, yeah, and then this is a metal charm that I picked up at Michael's too with a little pearl. Um, really cute. And then I'll just show you um, the tray itself and how I altered that. I um, painted the tray. I'll move the card out of the way. I painted the tray with the Martha Stewart um, black paint. I think it's called Beetle Black and it's really pretty. It has a really nice finish. And then so that the tray um, looked, you know, a little distressed and not so perfect, I sanded down some of the edges here, as you can see, and here too. Um, and I liked how that turned out. I love the finish. And this is another die label die cut from the collection. Um, I use this resin pieces. I'm not sure. I think they're Melissa Francis on the corners. And um, for the I Am Roses flowers, I've been using these in a lot of my projects. And they're the white um, rose with the pink center. They're so pretty. I love them so much. And then I have like two pink rose buds. And um, this is a cream color cherry blossom. And the butterfly, I fussy cut him from the paper collection. And then. Um, inside I just um, cut a doily in half and um, stuck it down. Uh, yeah, This is a coarse paper from the paper collection. Um, I used my Martha Stewart punch to punch another doily that I have here. And then I have the um, cream color gardenia and black and pink half inch roses here. Black and cream half inch rose here. It's another butterfly from the paper collection and um, a Tim Holtz book plate. And I have some polka dot tool here, some pearl, tr pearl spray, and a little gray felt flower from Jolie's from Michael's, and a little crocheted button. So that's the um, tray. And then I also did a little card. Um, for the card, I used a journaling spot for, um, from the paper collection, Lomonac collection, for the backgrounds. Um, I stamped this lady using a stamp I got from my goals and fussy cutter. She's on some card, craft card stock. And then um, she has, um, I have black and pink um, half inch roses here with a feather to decorate her hat and a little pearl for her necklace. 
and then there's Sam. Uh, Rose from I Am Roses. Um, I punched out these leaves from script paper from the collection with my Martha Stewart punch. And another half inch black rose. This background, this little die cut here, I cut out with a Sizzix die. It's one of the albums, and I use it a lot. It's really cute. And um, yeah, here's another label from the collection. Um, this is a butterfly from the Webster's Pages motif pack that I fussy cut. This is a label from the um, paper collection. And this paper here is actually from my my, my, my mind's eye um, Paris and Company, which I love that paper collection too. And then this is just some trim from Joanne's. So yeah, so really, really fun paper collection. This was actually a particularly fun project to create. And um, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments box. And yeah, and then um, in the description for the video, I will have links to all the flowers. So thanks a lot, and have a great day, everybody. Bye.